Hello everyone. Today there's been an update on the GeForce experience and Shadowplay has been removed and it's been replaced by Share your greatest gaming moments. It's basically the same as Shadowplay except it doesn't have the name and it's got similar settings just displayed differently which may be quite confusing so we're gonna cover that today. Uh, the new panel has a brand new UI design and way of ordering things. So when you first open Shadowplay, all your settings have been resetted. You've got three thingies here. Uh, one is record, so that's the manual record. The instant replay is the old um, temporary file that's being saved and you can just save it manually whenever you want. Uh, records the last 5, 10 or 20 minutes of gameplay and there's a third one here which is broadcasting so if you want to stream live to Twitch or probably YouTube integrated as well F first thing you want to do is uh, press record or instant replay whichever and press customize uh, when you do that you're going to be able to change the quality of your recording your target bit rate uh, the time that is being saved by the instant replay, stuff like that. Uh, so make sure you go into that. Uh, then we're going to look into the different settings that you have. They're ordered differently now, and there's seven of them. So uh, let's see what they can do. Uh, the first one is connect. It allows you to connect to four different uh, sharing platforms. The first one being Google, if any of you use Google+. Plus. Uh, second one is Enjoy to upload your screenshots. Then the third and fourth are Twitch and YouTube if you want to stream and probably send some video of like not live. Uh, I connected through YouTube. I don't really know what I can do with it so I'll let you know later I guess. Uh, second one is overlays. Uh, so there are three types of overlays. Uh, status indicator which tells you if you're recording or not and if your mic is activated or not. The FPS counter that just well, as the name suggests displays the number of FPS. And the third one is the viewers which probably displays the number of current viewers if you're streaming. Uh, what you need to know about overlays is uh, they are visible if you're recording in desktop mode and they are not visible if you're not recording in desktop mode. Uh, we'll see later but uh, now you can actually record Aeon without desktop mode. I'll show you that just a bit later. Uh, the third one is the keyboard shortcuts so you can change different shortcuts. Keep in mind they've all been reset when you've got the update of the GeForce experience so um, you might want to go into there and like just adjust the ones you need. I mainly need the uh, to recording and save instant replay but you want to look into uh, broadcasting and stuff. Um, be careful there's a, the, there's a shortcut by default which is Alt plus Z that displays uh, shadow play. It is quite annoying if you happen to use that key in Aeon because it will open the, this interface every time you press it which kind of fucks your gameplay up. Uh, the fourth one is recording so that allows you to save where your recording is going to be saved and when the temporary file so that's the one for the instant replay feature is going to be saved as well. Make sure you don't select an SSD especially for this one because otherwise you're going to burn it down real fast man. Uh, the fifth one is broadcast, so that's if you want to broadcast live, aka stream to uh, Twitch or YouTube. You can add a uh, custom overlay if you want to hide some chat windows and stuff like that. And you can select an ingest server for Twitch, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, sixth one is gallery, so you can upload to uh, Google Photos or Enjoy when you take a screenshot with a built in. Uh, function of shadow play if you want and finally you've got privacy control which uh, corresponds to the old desktop capture I turn it on for the purpose of this video but uh, to only record Aeon you don't actually have to turn it on you can just uh, not record desktop and it will only record Aeon 
So as you can see on this video, uh, I can put another window on top and you will see the number of FPS there that's dropping and still it will be recording Aeon and you won't see any of that window I'm talking about. Finally, you'll notice that you get some notifications on the top right of your screen from NVIDIA. It can be notifications that the recording has started or has stopped or has been saved or it can just be the, just some tips sometimes. Uh, they will not appear if you're not recording in desktop mode, so if you're recording directly Aeon it will not be shown. But if you're recording in desktop mode to show other applications then you will see them and there's no option to take them out. The only way you can do that is by editing the config files. So the way you do that is you go to your uh, NVIDIA GeForce uh, installation folder and you browse through osc slash app.js and then you're going to be able to edit this file and you're going to look for a line that reads r.show f.record started which is the notification that the record has started and you're going to replace it with bracket one plus one bracket and this will just disable the notification it will not be shown anymore you can do that with pretty much every notification that annoys you so for example the same one here with the record started just take all this and replace it with uh, one plus one with, with brackets uh, I'd advise you to uh, have a backup of this file at any point in case you edit it wrongly uh, watch out for the admin rights as well because this is on the C drive for me and probably for most people so you may have some problem with the rights when it comes to saving I'll let you see that uh, after you've done this all you need to do is uh, either restart your computer or restart the adapter so you'd go into your device manager, disable and enable your graphics card and changes are taken into account, that's it. That's all for today, but uh, if you've got any questions feel free to ask and I'll try and look into it if you want.